ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X Research and Professional Physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled, Planet X Will Cause Earth to Break Apart. Now, as I have shown in Article 648 entitled, Extremely Large Planet X System Has Caused the Sun to Go Dark. The Sun appears to have gone dark because of the huge number of Planet X system stellar cores which have come into the solar system. These objects absorb energy from the Sun and turn into gas giants, the largest of which will orbit extremely close to the Sun. But since all solar system planets are maintained by the Sun through a permanent electron current connection, having so many to maintain has caused the Sun to be in overload, so that it cannot emit light from its atmosphere anymore. However, this will also most likely deplete or quickly deplete its gravitational energy. If that happens, the electron current to all the planets, including Earth, will end, and the Earth will lose its supply just like all the other objects. It will then use up its stored gravitational energy and then turn into a stellar core. Its outer layers will break up and turn into a debris field. This will, however, happen at a slower light at a slower rate than it happened with the Planet X objects and may be starting to occur right now. The process will start with the surface fissuring and mountains collapsing, which seems to, ha to be happening already. And you may look at Article 556 entitled A Mountain Breaks Apart in Siberia Due to Planet X. And this diagram illustrates what happens to a living uh, a celestial object like Planet Earth like it has happened to the stellar cores, and it turns into a stellar core surrounded by the debris field. The debris field is actually the outer layers of the object, which have broken apart. And these are screenshots from a YouTube video by Security 10 from January 13th, 2019, entitled Crash in Russia Cracks Mountain in Half, Army Sent In, and it shows a mountain in Siberia which broke in half and collapsed. You can see the collapse there. So this seems to be happening already. Now, in addition, if the sun loses its gravitational energy, all the planets will end up orbiting much further away from the sun than they are now. So the Earth would also end up far out into the solar system. The Sun would turn into a stellar core and will most likely follow some or some other star's electric current, which it may be connected to and move to that star system with all of its planets, which with the probably thousands of stellar cores that have come in will count in the thousands. It would thus take the Earth with it, to this new star system, but by that time there would be no one alive on Earth as its atmosphere would freeze into snow as the planet X planet's atmosphere seem to have done. And you may look at Article 615 entitled Snow Turning Black when burned has alien chemical compounds. Since stars maintain their planets with an electron beam connection, larger stars will also maintain their small ejected stars in the same way. So the Sun will have a parent star that keeps it supplied with electrons. However, since the Planet X system stars that have come into the solar system seem to have surrounded the Sun on all sides, it is likely that the Sun's parent star was one of them, especially since most of them are so much larger than the Sun, which would suggest that the Sun does not have the support anymore and is thus running purely on its reserves which it will run out of eventually. But even if the sun is still being supplied by its parent star, the drain on it is most likely much greater than what it is taking in. And so it will eventually run out of gravitational energy anyway. So here we have how the stars and the planets are usually connected. A larger star is connected to a smaller star because it created that smaller star. So that leaves a connection from the larger to the smaller one. And so the larger one will keep the smaller one supplied with electrons. They'll continuously flow out from the core of the large one towards the core of the smaller one. And the smaller one will have its own planets. And there's one planet, a normal sized planet that the star created, but the sun now has planets that it did not create. 
and a lot of them are much larger than the sun itself. And the sun is keeping these huge planets, gas giants, and which were once the cores of stars much larger than the sun, uh, supplied with an electron current. So it's it's very likely that the sun will, of course, become depleted and will, in the end, turn into a dead star as well, or a stellar core. Now, as long as the sun still has gravitational energy, it will maintain its electron beam connection with the Earth, thus energizing its core. What the Earth no longer has is the sun's photons, which trigger the Earth's own creation of electrons, because the sun is no longer emitting light. So this is being done artificially using the Earth's own energy, which must come from its core as well. This means that even with the sun maintaining the Earth's core through the electron beam connection, through one of the Earth's poles, that it is likely that the energy in the Earth's core is dropping, which then manifests as increasingly red and colored cloud we see in its atmosphere. And you may look at Article 647 entitled Holographic Moon. The sun is not emitting light for more details on that. Where I also talk about not only the holographic moon, but the sun simulators that are being used to produce the light that the sun is no longer producing, which is then allowing the Earth to create its own electrons, or it does in response. Thus, in an effort to keep things normal, the powers that be are actually using up the Earth's stored energy and thus shortening the life it has left. So in conclusion, due to the large load on the sun as a result of the huge number of new planets to maintain, it is likely that the sun will eventually run out of gravitational energy and turn into a stellar core, quickly followed by the Earth, which will thus slowly break into pieces, which it seems uh, may have started happening already. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers. Planet X physicist, thank you for watching.